A few years back, we pioneered delicious carbon neutral vodka vodka. Then we went back to the lab and the farm to co-create vodka cream. Sustainable, natural, lactose free, not too sweet, so perfect for cocktails. Crafted in Almont, Ontario, with local pride and support. To celebrate the spirit of cooperation with like-minded Almont makers, we've developed the Friendship Series, an irresistible gift pack collab with Hummingbird Chocolate, Equator Coffee, Fulton's Maple Syrup, and Classic Vodka Cream. More on Classic Cream later, but first, meet our Almont friends. Our company specializes in fair trade organic coffee. There's a lot of inequality in the world and we can try to help. It's a big challenge, but that motivation started the company Equator Coffee. I actually probably heard about a dairy distillery when the construction project started just a couple of blocks from here. And uh, I was like, wow, that's a cool building. And I'm pleased that they decided to, to be in Elmont because we do have farmers around here. The dairy industry is important to the Ottawa Valley and uh, it's a great way to connect to the rural community. So yeah, we're just thrilled with the collaboration between Vodcal, Equator, and Hummingbird, and uh, Fulton's Maple Syrup. They're all like-minded people and it's been a fun collaboration. There's science in it and, and that's the, a lot of the cold brewing methods to, to help with the taste profile that, that vodka wanted. Uh, we've got a sample of the collaboration product between vodka and Equator Coffee. What I taste, uh, first is the cream. It, uh, it covers your mouth, so that's a familiar flavor. And then the coffee and the finish is actually just a tingle in your throat. It's uh, evidence of the vodka. Um, it's smooth and you can taste those distinctive elements. I'll just try it again. My husband Drew and I, we actually met doing um, international development work, especially helping farmers access sustainable markets and, and international markets. You can't have an amazing product if you're not treating um, all of the players in that process fairly. So we've decided to go for a, a direct trade um, approach where we develop relationships with farmers. It's been amazing to have dairy distillery as neighbors and create products together. Their approach to uh, using a waste byproduct from the dairy industry definitely resonates with our approach of trying to be as sustainable as we possibly can. We talked about some of the chocolate that we thought would go really well in that product and they did a few experiments and settled on the Peru beans. They have a natural buttery and caramelly quality to them, which lends itself really well for any kind of milk or cream products. It's very smooth and creamy. There's um, just the right amount of chocolate flavor to it, which is amazingly delicious. In the 1840s, the Fulton family arrived here from Scotland, and uh, they've been making maple syrup ever since. I'm the fourth generation. The whole goal of our business and our family was to keep every generation here, to get them to love the land, to use sustainable forestry on our property, and of course maple syrup is a sustainable product. We don't damage the tree, and we tap very conservatively here. We are an organic farm. You count the rings to figure out the age of the tree. It shows that from 40 years to 220 years, it's been tapped every year and it hasn't damaged the tree. We first met Dairy Distillery through our business community. We felt they were an amazing company. They are helping the dairy industry so much. And then they approached us about doing a maple cream and about the maple syrup, if we could supply them. So there are four grades of maple syrup. The Very Dark has a really robust, strong flavor. And they found at the dairy distillery they needed that flavor to come through. It has the flavor of the soil that the tree is grown in. 
Of course, the bottle it reminds you of the, the milk bottle from years ago. We make vodka out of uh, milk. We always figured that vodka made from uh, dairy mixed with cream would taste delicious. And so we put the two together and we got cream. Most other creams have flavoring or coloring. We wanted something very simple. Something that really communicated and expressed the dairy cream flavor. It's less sweet than a traditional cre a cream liqueur. People love it on ice or in their coffee, but we really see it as a canvas for cocktails. We do it all from scratch. We have our own homogenizer, and that allowed us to innovate and make a lactose-free cream, which is the only one in North America. It's the fact that we're using a, uh, a alcohol source that's carbon neutral, combined with the fact that we are using a waste product, makes our product more environmentally sustainable. We worked with the dairy farmers of Canada to get the blue cow, the, it's the origin logo that certifies a product as being made with 100% Canadian dairy. And we we're proud to say, for the first time ever, the blue cow is featured on a spirits bottle, the vodka cream bottle. When we came out with the cream, many people wanted to see different flavors. There are a lot of makers here that have come and, and call Almont home. They go find these rare beans, be it coffee or chocolate. They, they care for their trees and hone the process. When you can taste it. Passion leads to innovation and leads to perfection. And uh, each one of these makers are passionate about their craft. So we have people from around the world come to Almont to enjoy the fruits of these people's labor.